they put themselves under a bit of pressure, but they're equal to it as Scott kicks it long, only as far as Barras. So WA have a minute to take it from their defensive 50, and you get a 50 metres, that's certainly going to help. He's going to head in that direction, he's going to hope for a big mark. McCarthy, oh, right on the cue! Can you believe that? He read the script, he said, I'm the man for the moment, I'll do it! So this is the kick, this is for the game. Siren to sound, McCarthy he's for his third it. goal, he nails it! Never in doubt, what a finish! We knew it was going to be tight, and aren't they excited? Uh. A thriller that set a good scene for the culmination of the championships tomorrow night. Dominic Sheed was part of that in the West Australian side. Dominic, welcome. Thanks, thanks. And Matt Scharenberg's from South Australia, the vice captain there. Matt, great to have you with us. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Must have been a bit tough playing in the sling, was it? Uh, yeah, no, nah, I'd done it, only done it with three minutes to go in the game, so. Yeah, a bit disappointing, but yeah. Your best of field, Jared, I yep. understand he was best of field at that stage. How, how did you do it? Take us through it. Oh. Oy. Obviously, heard the crack. Yeah, yeah, straight away. Yeah, felt, felt it was gone. That's interesting because the new rule, I wanted, the new, if I talk to you about this new rule, probably in days gone past, people would have slided into that yep. contest. So you were very much aware that I've got to keep my feet here. Yeah. And unfortunately, the result is that. Yeah, no, definitely. With the new rules and that coming in, you kind of have to go in head first and keep your feet. So it's exactly what I've done, and he went just as hard. So, yeah, it was a good contest. So these are the major auditions for draft time as well as the, the competition that's going on. Um, do you feel a bit robbed, or do you feel like you got to show your best before it happened? Um, oh, yeah, a bit of both. I mean, it's about the team. We're um, Team WA. We're all about winning the championships. So, um, yeah, we're just going to try to play our best tomorrow and try to win. So, Matt, what is the balance for you between the audition, which is, sets up your future, and South Australia have a very real prospect of winning the championship tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, obviously it'd be fantastic to, to win the championship. Um, it's been a while since SR. I think the last time uh, South Australia won was the last year of the Till Cup, back in 1995. So, that would, um, yeah, that'd be fantastic. And all Carnival, we've just been taking it week by week and looking forward to the to the challenge that each week presents and that'll be the same case tomorrow night against Western Australia. So, We get given an expert set of notes from those who know which liken you to Brendan Goddard. How does that sit? Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's pretty, pretty nice to be um, compared to a great player like Brendan Goddard. But Got the same hairstyle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, well, what are you? What do you stand? What's BJ stand? Uh, how what, tall? Yeah. Um, 192. Oh. My nose a tall mid, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. What are you? I'm 190, so I might be around the same same height. Endurance? Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I can always build on it. So what if someone said to you, Righto, what's your what's your what's your number one weapon? Um, oh, I probably wouldn't know what to say. To start with. <laughs> well, if you're Brendan Goddard, you're an all-round game, left and right, speed, yeah, overhead I, marking. Yeah, I, li I like to pride myself on my foot skills. So. Yeah. I like to back him in and, and take the game on when I can. So, yeah. And Dominic, you're likened to Simon Black in the notes. Well, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Simon Black? Yeah, I oh, know. It's, um, nice. you know, yeah, it's obviously a huge rap to be um, likened to him, but you know, I'm my own player. I try to be my own player, so yeah. And what's your major attribute? Um, oh, probably my clearance work and my kicking. Um, that'll probably be my best attribute. When, you, when, you, when you've got hurt, right, you're a gun. You're both very, very good players, and congratulations, vice captain of the state. That's a terrific honour. And you to be likened to Simon Black. How many clubs and AFL clubs have spoken to you since you've hurt your arm? Just ring up and say, "How are you, young fella?" And we're just keeping in contact. And who's been the most annoying? <laughs> oh no, I haven't, haven't actually had any um, AFL clubs come and. Say like, sorry, Are they allowed to? Nah, I don't think during the carnival they're actually allowed to speak to What about to before the carnival? Who's, who's spoken to you the most? Oh, look, I really, really couldn't say. Yeah, don't know. Are you going to give us a no comment? Or <laughs> no. Like? Do you really? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Have you got any comment? You know, lead, <laughs> lead, leading up to the carnival and that, you're kind of just worried about, um, worrying about trying to play some yeah, good footy good for footy. the team. So, yeah. You know when you make it, you're going to have to put up with this pretty regularly. <laughs> have you been contacted by many clubs? Um, no, no, I don't have, don't have much to say there. No. What about? <laughs> just say no comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> do you, how well in your career do you get, or just have to decide on both years, getting a manager, a player manager? Have you have you got one now, and how? 
Oh, personally, yeah, I don't have one, no. Um, yeah, I've sort of had the approach that I'll probably just deal with it when it's when it's needed, if it's needed. Yep. So that's probably my my way of going about it. So your guidance at the moment is what your parents, I would imagine. Yeah, parents. Parents play a big role, obviously. Um, friends um, yep. and just family in general, that sort of thing, yeah. So, what about you, Bill Manager? Yeah, I'm with uh, Paul Connors yeah. at the moment, yeah. So can I ask, is this an enjoyable time? Or is it a vaguely stressful time? Yeah, no, it's a very exciting time, but at the same time it's stressful as well. You know, you've got the pressure of playing your role for the team and whatnot, but it's definitely exciting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've, I've always liked to... I, I love my footy, and that's one of my main focuses, just to keep keeping the enjoyment factor there, and, yeah, it's certainly a very ex exciting stage of the year. Okay. You, you two ever played on each other? No. No, we haven't, no. no. You know each other pretty well? Yeah, yeah, we've been through the AIS level one and level two yeah. with each other, so yeah, we've gotten to know each other well, but I'm a midfielder and he's a kind of backman forward, so yeah. So tomorrow sets up really well for the two of your teams to start with. It's Western Australia and South Australia. Now, South Australia can win the championship games, with a victory there, but should Western Australia win, then it's anybody's uh, because Vic Country and Mc Vic Metro go next. This is at Etihad Stadium. You'll see it all live here on Fox Footy. These are the permutations. Three teams can still win. Only Vic Country is out of contention. So, as I mentioned, South Australia can sew it up. Uh, if that doesn't happen, then on we go with uh, Western Australia and uh, and Vic Metro from there and this is the, the tables as they stand coming in and uh, it's the closest championship that we've had in, a, in an awfully long time. A couple of wins, eight points and then one and one. So that, it sets up for a tremendous day of footy to look at the stars of the future and to see who's going to win it. Uh, good luck. Thank you. See if South Australia can break a long drought. For the first time in the under 18s. And um, good luck with the shoulder, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you at the draft. Thanks a lot, Jared. Two of the